If you want to know about an organization that has no clue, the Grammy has no clue. None. None. It has to do with us. They have no clue. They know nothing about our culture. And there's no... We shouldn't be wasting our energy there. Now, there's a flood in Nigeria right now. A serious flood. It is carrying people's things, people's houses, everything. And the flood is made out of fears. Fears. <laughs> I fear so. Because the Grammys that ended last night, you know, Nigeria didn't get even one award. Even though collectively they had over nine nominations. They didn't get one award. And because of that, people are talking now. They are saying they want to cancel Grammys. But the reason for cancelling the Grammys, no. It doesn't make sense. And we'll talk about it. I'm the headless YouTuber, the headless reactions. Now, I don't know whether you noticed this or not, but there has not been any upload on this channel for the past four days. Some people didn't even ask me how I'm doing, what is wrong with me, or why no upload. All they want is a reaction to their artist or their favorite artist album that he released. Don't worry, it will come. I'm alive. I'm not dead. Why? <laughs> I, I'm okay. I'm not dead. So, India, don't worry. It will come. Now, let's talk about why Nigerians want to cancel the Grammys. The 66th Grammy Awards happened last night. And it was the talk of town because Nigerians were dominant in the nominations. Even the new categories that were created, but still, Nigerians were dominant in there. So everybody knew that no matter what, Nigeria will pick up an award, at least one award. Davido had three nominations at the Grammy. Burner Boy had four nominations. Davido and Burner Boy were nominated in the Best Global Music Album category and also the Best Global Music Performance category. Burner Boy was also nominated for the Best Melodic Rap Performance. And also Ashake, Ayasta and Olamide also bagged one nomination each. But then when it was time for the awards, this is what happened. Best Global Music Performance, Davido was in there with Phil. Burner Boy was in there with Elul, but then they didn't win. Best Global Music Album, that one too. Burner Boy was in there with I Told Them. The video was in there with Timeless, but then they didn't win. But that is not even the main focus. The main focus is Best African Music Performance because this category had a lot of Nigerians and only one South African. Ashake Amapiano featuring Olamide was there. Best African Music Performance. Burner Boy, City Boys. Okay. The video featuring Musa Keys, unavailable. Ayasta, Rush, and then Tyler, Water. And Tyler won the award. And the Grammy goes to Water, Tyler. Now, when Tyler won the award and she was going on stage, they did not play her song. They were playing Fela Kuti, Water. Fela Kuti also has a song titled Water No Get Enemy. And that was what the band was playing instead of Make Me Sweat, Make Me Hard, Yes. <laughs> The Nigerians saw that, hey, so all the categories that we were in, we didn't even win one award. What is going on? Then people started ranting on social media. People were saying, yes, it's true. We shouldn't have won. That was the Whiskey FC. And some people too were saying that, no, no, we should have won. Hey, unavailable was bigger than what I did. Then, 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 then. Now this man, Adesope Olajide, media personality, Nigerian media personality, but he's based in the UK. He came to do a um, Instagram live, ranting about this thing. And the whole rant was going sideways, sideways, some way. Because he was angry at the fact that the Grammys don't understand Africa and the Grammy is using Africans to promote the Grammys. At the same time, no. Okay, watch this video. Tyler Water, the band is playing Fela Nikula Pokuti Water. Whilst somebody that had a different water was walking on the stage if you want to know about an organization that has no clue the grammy has no clue none none 
it has to do with us. They have no clue. They know nothing about our culture. And there's no, we shouldn't be wasting our energy there. Let's, this week was about us coming to America, really putting our flags down, you know, building our bridges with our African-American brothers and sisters, expanding our coast beyond Africa, the continent, and embracing our brothers and sisters here in America. Tizzy, I'm telling you, these punks gave Tyler Water an award. They're playing Fela Nikula Kukuti Water in the background. Is that an organization that understands us? They don't care about us, man. They just want to use us for promotions. One billion people in Africa, they want us to continue to serve the Grammys. We ain't fucking with that, man. I tell you that for real. We're not messing with that. I don't like for me, I've got no I don't want nobody to come speak to me about no Grammys, man. And that's what I'm telling you for a fact. They used they, they used, you know, David heavily to promote their platform. They relied hugely on the, the incredible numbers and you know and audience and eyes that Nigeria brings and Africa brings. You know, and they used our the artists. They announced one of the greatest musicians of our time, Burner Boy, to be performing at the Grammys, which got us all excited. They nominated Burner Boy four times. They nominated David O three times. They, you know, but they knew that they were going to fuck them up. They were not going to, you know, they were not going to treat them right. They were not going to, come on, man. How can you give Tyler water and be playing fella Nikola Pokuti water in the background and they've been planning for that for some time so they had no idea which water was which now i don't know whether his anger is because nigeria didn't win or his anger is because they were playing fella kuti song when tyler won now if you are saying that uh, the whole thing is for the culture in africa they know now Tyler is an African, a South African. So yes, if she has won, she has won. Africa has won. And then they didn't even play a foreigner song when she was coming. They played another African song. They played Fela Kuti's song. So what is his anger about? Is it because Nigeria didn't win? Or it's truly because they were playing another person's song when another person was coming? Now this same man was interviewed before the Grammys before the Grammy show, and this is what he said. Favorite to, to bring it home for you. I'll just say this. Olamide Ashake, Burna Boy, David O, Tyler Arasta. All those names that are mentioned, if any one of them picks up the gun, they deserved it. That's all I'm saying. Of course, we will be happy for anyone. Look, Tyler and Arasta are young ladies in the game. Imagine if they walked away with a gun. How that will be inspiring for young women in our culture that find it so difficult to even get a placement in the first place. So anywhere you look, it's a blessing for our culture and anybody that picks it up will be celebrated by ourselves. Thank you so much, Adesope. So if everybody who won deserves the win and Tyler has won and no Nigerian won any award and then they played a Nigerian song when Tyler was coming, isn't it the South African so are supposed to be angry? Why are you angry? Chairman, why are you angry? <laughs> I, so he wants to eat based on this. Based on the fact that the band was playing Fela Kuti when Tyler was coming on stage. Based on that, you know, they should cancel the Grammys. That is what he is saying. Let me know in the comment section if you think he is making a point. Or you think he is using the pain of no Nigerian winning the Grammy to just deflect. And he is saying something like this. And he is trying to cover it up. With this whole, they were playing Fela Kuti, they were playing Fela Kuti. Let me know in the comment section. I watch other videos on this channel, tell somebody about Headless. I know, I don't know. Yeah, I